anybody buy houses for cash, buy all cash, all cash deals? You should never close with a, a, a all cash with no encumbrances on the property. And what I mean by that is you should always record your own lien against your own property when you're closing. So even if you're going to pay all cash and close quickly, you really want to close with a first trustee. So you have a hundred thousand dollar purchase. You come in, you plop down a hundred grand, and the, and you close, and you've got a property that you own free and clear, right? Everybody recognize that? So then you go out to do your little rehab project, and your plumber, the goddamn plumber, is always the one too. They didn't show, they don't show up. You made a contract with him. He shows up one day, does some work. He splits. He never comes back. He doesn't finish the job. You tell the plumber, hey man, I'm not paying you uh, any more of the money that I that you think I owe you. He says. All right, I have a contract. You didn't pay me the balance, even though I didn't do the work. And he files a mechanics lien on the property. He says, hey, buddy, you owe me $10,000 for my, my full amount of the contract. And he is now in what position on title? And he can foreclose. In fact, he has to on a mechanics lien. They have to foreclose or they have to remove the lien. So for a cup for three grand in his legal costs, He's gonna, he can force the sale of your home. Bad, bad, bad position to be in, right? So how do we fix that? It's super simple. It's one page. In fact, you could probably have your title guy uh, draft it, certainly record it. So all you want to do for this is draw up a, a deed of trust to yourself or to one of, between yourself and an entity and record it in first position. And here's what I, you, the, the, you should at least do $100,000, so it equals the amount of your, uh, the money that you put into the deal. Um, and one of the things that I was saying is I usually override them, so I might put up 110 on the note. 